talk about loads of things, but I'm, I'm really curious about the, the two you made on eight. That's a good two, isn't it? Well, or no? No, it was a pretty good. Um, we picked out a target about 25 feet left of it and hit a five iron and just pushed it right at the flag. It lands a, a foot from the hole, and then Ricky hit right where I was trying to hit it. And this caddy said, good shot. And I said, yeah, that's where I was trying to hit it. So, <laughs> uh, And then Ricky made his putt, and, and uh, so it motivated me to make mine on top of it. But uh, we had a really good group. Leash and, and Rick were a lot of fun to play with. And so it just kind of felt like another day out there, just practice round or something. We're we're at we're at the the halfway point of a tournament and you're you're playing very nicely. I'm just it, but but we still got halfway to go. I'm I'm curious from if you go back to the start of last year, was there ever a point where you had to learn if you were playing well through Friday that we're still only halfway there and nothing really matters? Yeah, I mean a negative question or what? Sorry. No, I mean it, it it experience is big. I mean the first time I got in contention at Torrey Pines my rookie year, it was I mean I was nervous. I was playing well. It was it was a whirlwind. And um, so luckily I've, I've got a little bit of experience. I don't have as much as a lot of the guys here, but I feel comfortable. Um, you know, I don't feel like I have to play well tomorrow. I don't have to play well on the weekend, which is nice um, <clears throat> being exempt. So, you know, it's towards the end of the year. It's been a long year. A lot of, a lot of weird stuff's been going on. So try and put it in perspective that we're pretty lucky to be where we are at Sherwood playing a, you know, Zozo. Just, it's a fun, it's a fun week. It's, I feel very lucky to be here, so I'm going to try and take as much pressure off myself as I can, and and uh, and then play as well as I can. Now, now that you got me curious, what happened at Tory? Uh, I think I was on Sunday. I was fifth place with a few holes left, and I ended up finishing 12th. And the funny part was, it was one of Tiger's first tournaments back, and I got off to the course, and you know the cameras are out there in the fairway, and I hit some really good shots, and I didn't get on TV, and. <laughs> And that was because Tiger was in 30th on the on the, finishing on the front nine, and my whole family was all upset. And I, I basically just told him I was like, "Look, I would much rather watch Tiger finish 25th than me finish fifth. So I totally get it. And uh, but that was my first taste of the PGA Tour. Did you have anything? I had another one that was off topic. Just um, you said you hit it better today than you did yesterday. I know you said you weren't hitting it as well right. as you would have liked last week. What'd you work on in the range last night that kind of helped you today? Uh, I get a little twisted in my backswing, and then. Uh, kind of caused me to fall back. So we just worked on getting lo loading my right leg a little bit, feeling like a sway to the right a little bit going back. It just gives me more time and, and my tempo and rhythm is better that way. So um, it feels like there's always two or three things I'm working on and, and I try and just focus on one. So when I get one down, the other things usually struggle a little bit. So then you have to go back and work on that. And then a couple of days, it'll probably, that'll feel good. And so that's kind of golf. I mean, there's always very seldomly you go a whole week with, one thought that feels really good the whole week, and and uh, so it's normal. Nothing, nothing out of the normal. You starting to feel a little more comfortable when you get towards the top of the leaderboards? Yes, yeah, no, I do. And um, you know, it's never easy, but it's fun. It's where you want to be. And if you look at sports, I mean, I look at, I think I like to think of the PJ Tour as like a football season. You know, you finish fifth place, it's not a bad week. You know, you, this week you'd go 72 and five. Most football teams or basketball teams would take it. So. You know, winning is winning is our goal every week, but it's not realistic. So, even if you have a week like I did last week and finish seventh, you know, you you, you got to be happy about it and take some positives and and try and look back on what you did right and wrong and get better. But um, winning takes, you know, playing well and getting a few breaks and uh, and the breaks are a lot of times are out of your control. So, having perspective helps a lot. I know you've been on kind of busy on the golf course and stuff, but when they uh, when they have some of the some of the live betting that they introduced last week right. at Shadow Creek, just just your thoughts on that in general. I think it's awesome. Um, I think a couple guys were saying, you know, if we're at waste management and somebody bets a thousand bucks for you to make birdie on a hole and you miss a three footer for birdie, you know, are you going to get rattled? Or are you going to get heckled? And and um, I don't think that'll happen. I think it's great for the game. Anything to get anything to make people want to watch more and, and be more involved. You know, there's four days of golf, 72 holes. It's a long tournament. So if you can, you know, if you can turn it into one hole tournaments for, for some people that that's going to make them want to watch more, then I'm, I'm all for it. How was your betting acumen? Good? I'm, I'm very, very bad at college football and NFL, um, but I, I try hard. So you had any success lately? No, no, not at all. <laughs> can you uh, kind of a quasi serious question? If you're off one week, 
Can you bet on on the tour? No, we're not allowed to. Okay. We're not allowed to bet anything. Um, Even though golf related, no, okay. we, we we can't touch it, and um, we're not allowed to give advice or anything like that. So, I think most of the guys out here we understand it, and we're not. We're very lucky to have our jobs, and we don't want to lose that. So we uh, we stay away from anything golf related. One last question, if you don't mind, Lanto. When you when you get to Augusta, and and you take yet another COVID test, are you going to be more nervous waiting on those results than you've been all year? I was a little nervous this week just because of Vegas. I mean, mm. I was extremely careful last week, knowing, but being on the Vegas trip for 14 days, it's hard to social distance the whole right. time. So I was grateful that that one came back negative. And, and um, the, the two weeks before Augusta, I'm going to be four or five masks deep. I'm going to be careful. I, I don't want to miss Augusta and, and um, something that I've dreamed about my whole life. So, yes, I will be nervous for sure. Do you th I wonder if that speaks for – I don't care if it's your first time or not, you know, given that it's the last major of the year, it's Augusta. And right. I would think it'd be more nerve wracking than any putt you face. So I talked to Leach today and I asked him when he was going to get to Augusta and he said he was going to get there probably Monday morning, Monday afternoon. And, and, uh, he's like, I'm probably going to play nine. I'm not sure yet. And then he was like, I'm definitely playing. He said, as soon as you get on property, you just want to get on the golf course. Yeah. So, you know, hearing a guy like Leach, he's had a lot of success at Augusta and, and, uh, hearing him get excited about it for his, 10th or 12th time I don't know how many he's played but yeah. um, I'm gonna feel 10 times that walking on property you're playing you know where you're playing Houston never mind strike that question yeah I'll be I'll be at Houston I can't wait thank you yep Thanks. can I eat now well, why didn't you say yeah. that in the first place <laughs> what's that you just got to step up and say guys I'm really hungry no.